Hey guys, today I'll teach you how to create this amazing card stacking effect in Elementor. When you scroll, the whole section freezes and only the cards start to change. And we'll add extra two sections on the top and bottom of it to make the effect work nicely. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's take a container and I'm gonna rename this container main section and make the sections width 30, 20 pixel. Then make the direction row Scroll down, make the justify content space between, and make the gaps zero. Scroll up, go to the advanced, only the padding, on the top 180, on the right 20, on the bottom 180, and on the left 20 pixel. Then inside this, let's add a container. And make the container's width 500 pixel, and make the gaps zero. Go to the advanced, and make the padding zero as well. Now inside this, let's add another container and rename this shortly. Count. We'll be needing this container later, but now keep it like this, then go to the advanced, make the padding 0. Keep the container like this, we'll be needing this later. But now, inside this, let's add a heading widget. Change the text, I'm gonna add my text, go to the style, open the typography, and for the font family, I'm gonna search, enter, this is a good looking font, make the size 94 pixel, make the weight 600, then make the light height 104 pixel. Okay, then close it and make the text color fully black. So for now, I'm gonna keep the heading as it is and jump right onto our main thing. We'll make the stacking cards. So now, close the container and right after this container, let's add another and it will be on the right side. Then make the container's width, select pixel, 600 pixel. Okay, now inside this container, let's add another and name this card because this will be the main card. So let's take the structure on here. Okay, so on the card, make the width 575 pixel, then go to the style, make the background color fully white. And then scroll down, open the border, and make the border type solid. A border will be added, but make the border width one pixel. And border color fully black. Now go to the advanced tab, only the padding on the top 52, then 40, 52, and 40 pixel. Now inside this, let's start to add cool things because we also have to make the card look really good, right? So in here, I'm gonna take a container and rename this container, circle. Select pixel, 68 pixel. Mean height, also 68 pixel. Scroll down, make the justify content center, align item center. Scroll up, go to the style and make the background color fully black. Also open the border, make the border radius Select percentage and we can make it 100% to make it fully round. Now inside this, let's add a heading widget and change the heading to 01. And the circle now will be fully round. Now go to the style of this text, open the typography, select the inter font, make the size 24 and line height 32. It'll be like this. Now close it and make the text color fully white. Okay, so this is looking nice. This is saying the card number. Okay, after that, let's add more content. So after the circle, let's add a heading right here and make sure this is exactly like this. Change the title and let's go to the style, open the typography, make it enter, font size 32, line height 40, close it, make the color fully black and go to the advanced, just on the margin top, 20 pixel margin. Okay, now for that, let's add a divider widget, so it's divider, and add this widget right after this text. And a simple line divider will come up. Now in here, keep everything as it is, go to the style, make sure this color is black, and here make the gap 4 pixel. Now go to the advanced, only the margin on the bottom at 6 pixel. Okay, now after the divider, let's add a simple text editor. Change the text, go to the style, make it enter, font size 16, line height 24. And make the text color 6D, 6D, 6D. Okay, so we basically created our first card. And we'll make this card stackable. But before that, I'm gonna make the card fully responsive because I don't wanna do the double effort after duplicating the card. Okay, so on the tablet mode, this is looking like this, but we can fix it, open it. First select the main section, go to the layout, scroll down, make the gaps 80 pixel 
and then make the wrap wrap and it'll be like this then under the main section select the first container go to the layout and make the width 100 percent it'll be like this then select the second container make it 100 percent as well it'll be like this now just select the main heading and decrease the font size a bit like 72 pixel and line height 80 pixel close it and just make the alignment on the center and we can make the heading a little bit nicer let's go to the advanced on the width select the custom and make the custom width 445 pixel and self align center and it will be nice now let's go to the main part here select the second container and make the align items center and it will be perfectly center okay now in the tablet mode everything is looking perfect now let's quickly go to the mobile mode and fix it nicely so first select the heading decrease the font size like this 50 align height 60 and now we gotta fix this card and we're making the card responsive right now because it'll make the process really faster you'll see it a bit later for now let's select the card and decrease the padding and on the padding make it 20 then unlink on the right 16 on the left 16 it'll be like this now select this first item the circle go to the layout make the circles width 50 pixel and also the min height 50 pixel then select the heading inside decrease the font size to 8 pixel okay now select this heading decrease the font size to 24 line height 32 and go to the advanced decrease the top make it 0 then select this divider go back to the style make the gap 0 and from the advanced make the margin 0 it'll be here and the card is looking perfect in the mobile mode as well okay so now as the card and everything is responsive let's add our main magic here so first of all I'm gonna select the card and make it duplicate duplicate again and we'll have exactly the same cards now it's time to add simple custom code and make the cards behave really cool so to add the custom CSS in the Elementor's free version we gotta add the HTML widget add this HTML widget right here and in this field we can add the code but don't worry I'm not gonna teach you how to code you can just go to the jimfahaddigital.com and I'll put this pages link in the description so in here you'll find all the code I'm gonna be using so under this stacking section on scroll you'll find this code you can just select the code like this or click here to copy and we can paste the code here after pasting go back copy this work card class name go back select this card go to the advanced scroll down edit under the CSS classes and after adding go there again copy this one class name and here add a space and add that one class name and you can see this card is been rotated a little bit and if you scroll down this card is already sticky okay now let's go back here and copy this work card again paste this onto the other one select the second card add the class name here then also the last card add it here then go back to the JFD copy this two class name select the second card after this add two and the second one will be rotated on this way and lastly copy this three add it on the third card after this okay and it will be like this and you see if I scroll up or down these cards are being sticky and overlapping nicely with each other looking really nice now the whole thing is looking like this but it will be really nice if we add some extra sections on the top of this section and on the bottom of this section so we can see the animation nicely so I'm just gonna click on this plus and add a simple section here okay and on the bottom as well let's add a simple section okay so this is looking like this and we can see this animation nicely now but the final thing we can see as we are scrolling this text is being disappeared right so we can make this text sticky as well so open it and go back to the JFT and copy this work content and then select this cont which is this and paste the class name in here now if we scroll up and down 
this text is also being fixed. Nice. Now I feel like this left side is looking a bit empty. So I'm just gonna quickly paste a paragraph in here. And after that, I'm gonna quickly paste a button. Okay, so this is looking nice now. All right, so this was our amazing card stacking animation. Now go ahead and make one of them for yourself. I wish you all the best. If you like this video, please leave a like, share this video on social media, it would mean well to me. Before I end, just a quick note. If you want to build website faster, check out kitpava.com. It's packed with ready-to-use Elementor template kits for all kinds of businesses. You can preview everything live, see how it looks on mobile, and there's an easy video guide to install everything in just a minute. Feel free to explore it, might save you a lot of time. That's it for today, I'll catch you on the next one.